how to start, you should already have the frequency column labeled, frequency and your frequency values. Note, my frequency values aren't the same as yours. I have trial one, two, three for each of the wavelengths I measured in the simulation. So I didn't want you taking this data. You should have different values. Let's start. We, I have a column titled average and period. So we'll start by getting the average. So under this average, I'm going to get the average wavelength. Type the equal sign. That's by the backspace, E-A-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E -E. I'm typing average, open parentheses, and now I'm going to go row by row into this column, and I close the parentheses. So I click, drag, and hold across, and now I get the average. Average. So if I grab the bottom right-hand corner of this entry, a black cursor appears. I can click, drag, hold all the way, all the way down. It auto-populates for me. I want the period from these frequencies. Period and frequency are inverses of each other. So underneath the period column, I'm going to type this uh, equal sign, and I'm going to click the first entry, raise it, shift 6 to the negative 1. And if I want to change the number of decimal places, I can do that by coming underneath general, and I can click to the right. Clicking to the right reduces the number of decimal places. Scrolling left increases the number, so I'll just round this down. Three sig figs. Bottom right hand corner of this entry will pull up this cursor, click, drag, hold all the way down. Now I'm ready to make a graph. I'm going to insert a chart. This should be a scatter chart, not a line graph. And I will right click, go to select data, add series name, a wave speed of a string, of a strong, of a string, x values equals. We want it to be period on the x axis. So I'm going to click, drag, hold all the way down, make sure I get all of my data entries and then delete the bracketed one for the series Y values. I will click, drag, and hold the average wave speed all the way down, and I click OK, and OK again, and now I have my chart. Click the, clicking the chart, left-clicking, pulls up this arrow, add a trend line. The trend line, click the black arrow to the right, more options, and make sure to click these green vertical bars. Now you can scroll down, display equation on chart, and I can see that my speed is the slope of this line, distance, uh, centimeters per second. Your speed should be different. I need to add axis titles, so click on the green chart elements cross axis titles, and now I can double click. This should be period, and the time is in seconds, and this is in, this is my wavelength, and the units for wavelength are centimeters, so the slope is red in front of the X, and that's centimeters per second, and you will upload this Excel file to turnitin.com. Thanks for watching.